look at this lamb. <laughs> that is a small little lamb. What day is it today, Jess? My last day of high school. Your last day, my graduate. Congrats. It's kind of a crappy way to graduate. I'm fine with it. But it's actually not too bad. You're sitting in the sun. You are so needy. <laughs> I love you too. I was about to say happy Thursday morning, but it's Thursday afternoon. It's after lunch. Uh, Mark and I spend all morning doing taxes. Not fun. I am just checking for new lambs. I'm sure if there was any that Carissa would have let me know, but my little guy's doing good. Having a little siesta. So I'm just going to do a little walk through. Everybody's laying down, so I think life is good. We had a big storm last night. We got two inches of rain between last night and yesterday morning. Oh boy. So everything is so much cooler and the hay got a good shot of rain and our crops we did a big crop tour this morning, so everything looks good. But no, no lambs. This lady's acting weird. That one. She could just be in any social. So I think um, for the rest of the afternoon, I want to go across the road. I still haven't done my weaning weights. I weaned a week ago today. Uh, I usually do it a, a few days after. I actually take the, the lambs and put them over there just because they're a lot quieter and the stress is gone. I like them to be on their feed and their water. Uh, so it's not an accurate, accurate weaning weight, but it gives me just a little idea of how these mums perform because all that goes into my decision making as to if the ewe is performing for me. And that all goes into like culling decisions, like decisions whether to keep or to ship a, a ewe. It was so windy so I, I didn't get much footage there. I thought I would go over kind of how this group did. Okay, this is a good screen. I just found this screen on my Gallagher. Okay, okay. So there was 123 lambs. Uh, the lightest one was 20 pounds. So she is not performing real well. She's really small. I have to feed her water every day because she just, she's, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so the lightest one was 20 pounds. The heaviest was 77. So an average weaning weight in that first group was about 48 and a half. Not bad considering the bottle babies were in with this group and my bottle babies, some of them were really young. So uh, I bet you if I had just separated them out, this would maybe look a little different, which I can do. Uh, I might do that a little bit later, but overall for an average uh, weaning weight of 48 and a half pounds, that's not terribly bad. So anyway, I just found this, uh, I found this chart, it's under stats, which I kind of found it accidentally, but it's my new favorite little thing. So I put everybody back in the pen, but they've made a mess. So I have to clean all that up and then call it a day over here. How are you doing, Greg girl? What are you doing? What? It's 
like the worst angle ever. Yes, some of them are not pleasant. Have you got all those done? Those three? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've only done, you just started? Yeah. So when I was outside, I just remembered that um, Every morning I've been checking my Nest cameras on my phone and there was one camera. It just stops communicating with the Wi-Fi so I, uh, so I went through and I just unplugged it and plugged it back in and now it's working so that's always camera three. Um, however, camera two, if you see there, a bird has knocked it and it's really, really crooked. So I've got my ladder here and I wanna just, while well, I got a few minutes and no lambs, I would like to get those cameras 100%. I'm also gonna maybe play with the angle because right now they're really pointed on this first stretch of pens, which I, is the pen that I usually lamb in, but I'm lambing on the second stretch. So I'm gonna try and tilt the cameras up a bit just to see if I can get a better angle on that second pen instead of the first one, but we'll see. Um, so I got my, my phone with me, so that's a good thing. I can go up on the ladder, play with it, and see it on my camp, and see it on my, see it on my phone. Got a lamb here who hasn't figured out that uh, it can actually get out of the creep area. <laughs> you got in there, you can get out. Let's see if I move that up a little bit. Huh. It's pretty good there, I think. So I think I got my phone, I think I got the Nest cameras working, everything looks good, lined up, I see the pen that I want to see. Uh, the only thing left I really have to do before lambs show up is get my milk machine going uh, and I've got hoses ordered so I'm going to replace all the hoses on it and uh, they're on their way because I, I think she put them in the mail today. So they should come anytime and other than that, I think I think we're in really good shape, which is which is good. It's good for my brain. Um, I think for the rest of the night, it is Jess's graduation day today. Uh, but to be quite honest, she hasn't been to school since March, since March break. And I'm pretty sure every kid can relate right now. Anybody graduating university or high school, they're just kind of robbed of those last few months with their friends and with, you know, just saying goodbye to the teachers and just that feeling of closing a chapter, like closing the door of the school on your last day and plowing through exams and that feeling of like sheer relief that they're done. Now, granted, she doesn't have to do exams, which is pretty sweet, but um, I just feel really bad for her. She's still up in the air about university. Uh, it's not looking like it's gonna be really face-to-face -face, and I'm thinking residence isn't gonna happen, so she might even defer a year, which is killing her. So we are going to have a little grad celebration and uh, just our family and hopefully cheer her up. She's, she's taking it really good. She's, she's an easygoing kid, so she'll be fine, but it's just kind of crappy. The other cool thing that happened this week is Jack started a full-time job. So uh, it's going to kind of be in correlation with his co-op program. So he's working at a kind of automation and robotics and controllers and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool, very, very in line with what he's studying at school. It's really close to where he lives in London. So it's worked out really quite well, but we're really missing him here. Uh, just, I know Mark's missing having that extra person, but Jess is filling in nicely. So we're all just taking every day as it happens. Good morning, it's Friday, and finally I have the full day dedicated to putting our meat boxes together for Father's Day with Belinda. So I am just running into town, I'm gonna meet her. Uh, part of our box, we have, some, we have some meat kind of sliced up into little squares to put in to put on uh, skewers for shish kebabs so I have the skewers but I'm thinking we need some ribbon and stuff just something to dress them up a bit so I think I'm gonna she has to drop off her taxes this morning so I'm gonna meet her in in town and then we're gonna run back to the store and start putting all these together and then I guess share the email address where people can start ordering which is really scary and really new and kind of exciting. Okay, we are here. I have my mask, we have our gloves, and we've been working on our meat boxes. So Belinda's gonna put one together, we're gonna show you what it looks like, but I have mine already together, so I'll get Belinda to show you what it looks like. 
Show the outside. Show the outside. Oh yeah. Let's start there. Okay. So here we go. That's our little postcard and our shish kebab skewers. And we have a ribeye. You can just show off everything. Sure. Or we can put yours together. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a pound of lamb shish kebab and a pound of beef shish kebab. We've got two T-bone steaks. All the steaks are cowboy cut, nice and thick. To watch the Jenga try to put it together. I know. I put lamb on one side and beef on the other. Ooh. So then we've got a nice set of lamb chops here. Go. I like the rack on top though. I know. They're so nice. I know. Look at these. That's a beaut. <laughs> Just edit all this out. J -j 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 Jenga. Puzzle. This is what I'm most excited about here. The ribeye. Yeah. And then we add, Our we've got some spread. neat little instructions from Ontario Lamb. And we'll leave the meatball one out though, because we'll leave that one for the ground. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. The other ones are, we used all the, rack, or the, all the, uh, the other ones are. Oh shoot. There's our postcard. And our story. Yay. Oh, it's, that goes up for me. Right. I'm so bossy. <laughs> Someone's got to be. I guess. There we go. Get a little full on install. You're better at this than I am. <laughs> and. Stickers are hard to do with gloves. Can't forget the stickers. Well, just getting back from Belinda's and you guys, we finally launched our Father's Day boxes and we sold out in 20 minutes. I just, by the time I drove, it's about a 20 minute drive from my place to, to Belinda's place. And by the time I got home, they were all accounted for. So I'm emailing people now telling them that we're sold out, which is like such a, it feels pretty crappy. Uh, but at the same time, I'm I'm blown away with with just the support, and not only just locally. We have people calling from like or emailing me from two hours away, saying they would drive down to pick it up, and it's just like I'm really blown away with how much people really do want to support uh, these little ventures that that we as farmers try to do just to diversify a little bit. And this was something way out of my wheelhouse. I. I, I'm just not really comfortable setting up logistics and, and sales and doing all this stuff. I love promoting it and I like making the labels and making the postcards and like promotion stuff, but the actual physical doing of this project has been weighing on my chest really, really heavy and I haven't really wanted to tell Belinda because I know she gets really stressed out too. Uh, but together we seem to just have a good time and it all just kind of gets put together and we talk each other down So they look really good. I'm so proud of them. They turned out really cute and really nice and uh, Yeah, I'm just and I got home and There's a set of lambs waiting for me. So let's g I gotta sh I gotta show you these ones because there's one really Special little lamb. They're having a little nap with mommy. Oh, I think there's another one lambing we might have two. Look at this one. Some babies. What are you doing, Mom? You got something going on here? Oh, we got a mucus plug. She's gonna have her baby too. Good girls. 
Look at this lamb. Look how little you are. Hey. Hi. Look at, like, this is my hand. <laughs> that is a small little lamb. Hi. What are you saying? Hi. You're small, but you're mighty. I saw you out drinking. Good mom. Look at those tails. Look at the size. Oh my god, it's so small. So I think I'm going to set up uh, some lambing pens down there now that I'm going to have this one with her lambs and I'm going to have that one with her lambs in an hour or so. And uh, I think now we're really close to due date so I'm not as fearful of early lambs. That one's so small. I don't think mom's even, mom's like, it's so small, how can that be mine? So far nothing more than a twin, but it's nice to see them coming out alive. Uh, unassisted, I was not here, I was at Belinda's. Maybe that's a sign, maybe I should not be here, maybe they do better on their own. Ah, oh, it's trying to drink. Mom, you just ran over them. Okay, so I got some new lambing pens set up. Don't worry, they're not in here. If this is your first video, they're only in these pens for about 24 to 48 hours, just depending on how many she has and if there's any problems. So, and it's just for them to bond because the, mo the babies can't see very well. So they go by sound and by smell. So it's nice to keep them in a pretty close quarter. If they were outside on pasture, they would probably do something very similar. They would go off on their own and kind of have their own little nest area where they keep their babies. So I'm kind of trying to imitate that indoors. Uh, so the first mom here with the babies is doing really well. She's got lots of milk. And I think they both drank because they're not, they're not saying too much. So they're really good. I am a little concerned on this one. She had her mucus plug and there's been nothing since and it's been about a half an hour. Uh, so I just want to do an internal. I don't typically do that if they don't look like they're pushing. But I'm not crazy on what I'm seeing coming, coming out of her. So I'm just going to check. If everything looks normal, I'm not going to interfere. Trying to do less of that, this lambing go around. <laughs> So, I checked her about a half an hour ago and everything was coming the right way. So I walked away and I haven't done anything and I see feet. Lucky, 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 twins! Real nice set of twins. And Mama's amazing. I am a bit concerned on her one, her one teat just seems a bit, it was hard to get milk out, so I'm hoping she's just not coming to her milk yet, but I have to watch and I might have to just give them a bottle yet tonight. And you're doing well, Mom. Good girl.
Yeah, you think 